Hello, this is Dr. Ayanshola Ogundele, Astronautics for Exploit. Elements of Space Solar Power System. The focus points of my presentation are as follows Space based solar power and elements of space based solar power system. Space, the final frontier of solar energy. Through research findings, has been found to contain solar energy that is billions of times greater than the amount of global energy in use today. The sun, which is about four and a half billion years old, is making space solar power to be promising and a long-term energy solution to the global energy needs. The earth, estimated to be about 4.54 billion years old, receives only one part in 2.3 billion of the sun's at bolt. This makes space solar power to be the potential largest energy source, which can supply all the clean energy needs of the Earth. Today, virtually all the spacecraft make use of solar energy. Space solar power, unlike oil, gas, coal plants, and nuclear power plants, does not emit greenhouse gases does not compete or depend then upon freshwater resources which are increasingly becoming scarce. In large quantities, it is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and it works regardless of cloud cover, daylight or wind speed. Also, it eliminates a major source of national competition for limited earth-based energy resources. Space solar power system invented in 1968 is made up of three main elements which are solar power satellite for the collection of solar energy in space wireless transmission system for wireless power transmission to the earth via microwaves or laser and rectina for the receipt of wirelessly transmitted power solar power satellite is mainly made up of solar panels for beaming electrical energy to a collecting station on the earth that eventually distributes the received solar energy into the domestic power grid. The two common designs of solar power satellite are known as the microwave transmitting satellite, which is larger and deeper satellite, and the laser transmitting satellite, which is smaller. Microwave solar satellites offer steady, uninterrupted transmission of power through rain, clouds, and other atmospheric conditions provide upwards of 1 gigawatt of energy to terrestrial receiver, enough to power a large city. Microwave transmitting satellites orbit Earth at about 35,000 kilometers above Earth's surface in justiciary Earth orbit. Laser solar satellites are very cheap. In comparison to the microwave transmitting satellites, laser transmitting satellites only orbit in a low Earth orbit which is only about 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Also, this satellite weighs in less than 10 metric tons, just a fraction of the weight of its microwave counterpart. Space Solar Power Space Solar Power, which was invented in 1968, is one of the greenest technologies currently available to produce electric power. A space solar power system is made up of an orbiting satellite comprised almost entirely of solar planets that transmit power to a ground-based collecting station using electromagnetic waves. The picture here shows illustration of space solar power concept. Presently, several studies are being conducted for the development of space solar power, a long tighter solution to providing power from space which is getting new interest due to technological advances and pushes for clean energy. Low-cost launch vehicles technologies. Our interest on space solar power system is as a result of current investment in the development of low-cost launch vehicles technologies. The picture here shows multi-rotary joint solar power satellite. Limitation of ground-based solar power. The ground-based solar power is intrinsically limited by the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth's surface, 
due to obstruction, reflection and diversion of electromagnetic waves by the atmosphere. Research findings show that a maximum of approximately one kilowatt of solar power per square meter, approximately one kilowatt per meter squared, is available on Earth, and nearly five times that amount is available in space. The picture here shows demonstration of beaming of electricity down to the Earth from satellites through microwaves. Elements of space-based solar power system. The elements of space solar power system are solar power satellite, wireless power transmission, and rectina. Each of these elements is explained as follows. Solar power satellite. A solar power satellite is one of the elements of the solar power system. Solar power satellite is comprised mainly of solar panels that beams electrical energy down to a collecting station on Earth which then distributes that energy to the domestic power grid. The picture here shows gigawatt scale base load solar plant on the satellite. A solar power satellite is one of the elements and the satellite is mainly of solar panels which beams electrical energy. The picture here shows demonstration of space-based solar power. Solar power satellite and orbiting satellite an orbiting solar power satellite is usually made up of almost entirely solar panels that transmit power to a ground-based collecting station using electromagnetic waves. The large solar arrays on the orbiting solar satellite is designed to collect large quantities of solar energy. The picture here shows orbiting solar panels that could provide Earth with limitless power, beaming of the collected solar energy. Apart from the solar arrays, the solar power satellite also consists of an antenna to beam the collected solar energy down to a power station on Earth, as well as various sensors and internal electronics. The wavelength of the electromagnetic waves transmitted from the satellite must be of sufficient size to leave unharmed flora or fauna surrounding the station, restricting the transmission wavelengths. The picture here shows artist's concept of a solar power satellite to be located in the Geosynchronous orbit of altitude at 5,786 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Wireless power transmission is another element of space-based solar power system. Wireless power transmission is the transmission of electrical energy without wires as a physical link. In a wireless power transmission system, a transmitter device driven by electric power from a power source generates a time-varying electromagnetic field which transmits power across space to a receiver device which extracts power from the field and supplies it to an electrical load. The picture here shows an artistic representation showcasing the capture of solar energy in space that is precisely being beamed to where it is needed through the space solar power incremental demonstrations and research. In far field or radiative techniques, also called power beaming, power is transferred by beams of electromagnetic radiation, like microwaves or laser beams. Applications Microwave and laser beams techniques can transport energy at longer distances but must be aimed at the receiver. Proposed applications for this type include solar power satellites and wireless power drone aircraft. The picture here shows operation of space-based solar power system. Wireless power transmission is the wireless transfer of large amounts of power at microwave frequencies from one location to another. In 1964, William Brown demonstrated a microwave-powered model helicopter that received all the power it needed for flight from a microwave beam. Microwave power transmission of tens of kilowatts has been well proven. The picture here shows Cassiopeia Space Based Solar Power Initiative. Microwave power transmission. Power transmission via radio waves can be made more directional 
align longer distance power beaming with shorter wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation, typically in the microwave range. Power beaming using microwaves has been proposed for the transmission of energy from orbiting solar power satellites to Earth, and the beaming of power to spacecraft living orbit has been considered. The picture here shows space based solar power satellite. A satellite that captures light from the sun and being powered back to the earth. Microwave solar satellites offer steady, trans steady uninterrupted transmission of power through rain, clouds, and other atmospheric conditions, provide upwards of 1 gigawatt of energy to terrestrial receiver, enough to power a large city, safely transmit power through air at intensities no greater than midday sun. The picture here shows an artist's depiction of a solar satellite, which could send energy by microwaves to a space vessel of planetary surface. Laser power transmission. A laser is a device that emits light through a process of optical amplification based on the stimulated emission of electromagnetic radiation in the case of electromagnetic radiation closer to the feasible region of the spectrum, power can be transmitted by converting electricity into a laser beam, which is received and concentrated into photophilic cells, refers to as solar cells. The picture here shows an artist's impression of space solar power system. In 1980s, researchers at NASA worked on the potential use of lasers for space-to-space -space power beaming, focusing primarily on the development of a solar power laser. In 1989, it was suggested that power could also be useful, usefully beamed by laser from outer space. And in 1991, the Sennelan project, Space E Laser Energy, included a study of laser power beaming for supplying power to a lunar base. The picture here shows solar power plant in space. Laser solar satellites. The small diameter of the laser beam will make it simpler and cheaper to implement on the ground. Laser solar satellites have relatively low startup cost. The single launch per laser transmitting satellite will be safe assembling, lowering cost and risk substantially. The picture here shows illustration of a lightweight model plane making the first flight of an aircraft powered by a laser beam centered on its panel of photovoltaic cells. Rectenna. A rectenna, rectifying antenna, is a special type of receiving antenna that is used for converting electromagnetic energy into direct current electricity. Rectenna usage. They are used in wireless power transmission systems that transmit power by radio waves. A simple rectenna element consists of a dipole antenna with an RF dot connected across the dipole element. The picture here shows Cassiopeia proposal for space-based solar power developed by Lancas. The invention of rectenna in the 1960s made long-distance wireless power transmission feasible. Since the 1970s, one of the major motivations for rectenna research has been to develop a receiving antenna for proposed solar power satellites, which will affect energy from sunlight in space with solar cells and beam it down to Earth as microwaves to each rectenna arrays. The picture here shows solar collecting satellites. For more information, contact Astronautics for Exploit. You've been watching and listening to elements of space solar power system presented by Dr. Ayanshola Ogundele, Astronautics for Exploit. With the focus points, space-based solar power and elements of space-based solar power system. Thank you.